What's up YouTube? Robbie Vapes back again and today we're doing another Diablo run with a vape in hand. This is actually the Aloe 20 milligram. This is the Fuji Apple. One of the only good flavors in my opinion. There's two that are decent. This one and the Pineapple Ice. Uh, we'll talk more about the vaping into this video. Uh, yes, no, I'm a hypocrite for vaping salt nick now. So, you know, it is what it is, but whatever. Um, anyways, I do sell my my free base nicotine here. I uh, just off to the side. So I'll grab it. We got base in the Valerian. Uh, this is the Intelligence by Saves. Uh, super nice wintergreen flavor. Love it. But uh, switch the yellow just for, uh, I guess, the effect. And also because it's, uh, I don't know, they're actually not bad. I like flavors. I like the ice in it. But anyways, back to the video at hand. Today, yes, you read the title, title correctly. We are running a uh, Ubers with a level 82 Barbarian. Uh, this is actually my second Ubers run. I've already recorded it, so I'm just going to kind of commentary on it while it's running. Um, but yeah, we'll go from there and kind of just see what happens. Uh, the first one ended up getting a Source Torturous. Don't ask what the stats were, but they weren't that great. It was like a 14-13 uh, Source Torch. So let's see what we get in this one, if we get the Torch, and if we can do the Ubers. Um, and let's kind of begin. So to kick things off, I'm kind of just going to show you what happens here and uh, kind of just go over as far as like what we have on. So we have Fortitude in the stash, which we'll put on in a second we have treachery on right now that's going to proc the fade from treachery as you can see they have a five percent chance to cast level 15 fade i also got some Dracul's grasps for lifesteal uh we also got a grief which is awesome obviously for this uh crescent moon is my offhand i do like the crescent moon because of static field uh one of barbarian skills the amulet with a little bit of resistance and life g face for this crushing blow and everything ik belt for the strength uh stone of jordan because one to all skills and it's an soj Raven Frost in the offhand, or I guess another ring finger, and then IK Boots uh, as well. Uh, and I'll show you my charms at the end of this, kind of when we complete this. And uh, yeah, we have a full organ set, so we're ready to do Ubers. Offhand, we got Spirit and Lidless for uh, just extra BO power. Uh, BO being Battlelords if you're new to Diablo. So we're going to make the portal. Before we go in, we're going to actually go to Act 4, River Flame, and we're going to really try and uh, proc that fade to, uh, to go off at... Uh, just give us a little extra advantage, then we'll switch back to fortitude for the extra damage. So here are my stats over here. We have strength 190, dexterity 136. Uh, frenzy attack rating is not bad. I would have liked to seen it over 7k, but eh. Defense is 3,000. Uh, vitality 272. Uh, and energy, obviously no stats and energy at 31. And then my life with the battle orders is 3,188. Uh, as you can see there, I'm kind of like invisible. That's fade proc. Uh, next, we're going to switch back to fortitude and... Then what we're going to do is heal up real quick, and then we're actually going to try this out. I do have a full belt of rejuvenation potions uh, in case I need it, which I probably will need at least a few of them, but uh, here we go. So the general strategy with this, so I'm going to do Battle Lords again just one more time to make sure it doesn't go away while I'm fighting uh, these bosses here. And so the general strategy is to pull them away from each other. Uh, so for those of you who don't know what Ubers are, it's basically the Uber version of Mephisto, Bale, and Diablo. We see Bale right down there. And uh, we're just going to try and draw them out. This actually does take a little while, so bear with me. Uh, while we're waiting for that, uh, let's talk more about the vaping uh, and kind of where I've been. So yeah, I am vaping some aloes right now. Again, along with Freebase as well, but Freebase is a little bit too loud to kind of over run the audio in this video. So... Yeah, I mean, it's like how quiet they are. Uh, I'm not usually a huge fan of like the Salnik vapes or certain brands that I won't name because I'm pretty sure I'll get banned for saying them. Uh, so those ones, obviously we're not going to talk about, but I was never a fan of them to begin with, mostly because of high Nick strength. Uh, with this one at 20, I feel like 20 is kind of manageable strength. Uh, still a little bit of a stronger hit than, uh, the three milligram free base, but it is pretty smooth. So, you know, I'm not saying I don't get it cause I get it, but like, yeah, I still feel bad being a hypocrite here, vaping on, uh, on an aloe when I could be vaping on uh, free base instead, but I don't know your thoughts. Let me know. Uh, anyways, we're going to keep this battle going. So you can see here we got uh, Bale and his clone uh, kind of fighting me right now. I'm not using a ton of rejuvenation potions right now because the lifesteal from the vamp, uh, vampire uh, bone gloves are awesome. The Dracul's Grasp. And uh, the only thing I'm really using it for mostly is the mana to make sure I don't run out of mana because then I lose my frenzy, which means I lose my attacks and my attack rating, uh, which is pretty important for this thing. So we're going to keep on going through here and yeah, just uh, kind of crushing Bale right now. Crushing his clone too, because frenzy, multiple enemies, multiple attacks. I 
I mean, you can see here, this does take a little while. Uh, Bale's actually, I find, I find he's like the highest defense guy, so he does take the longest of the three, but I mean, I'm happy to get him out of the way first. Just, I don't want to take on all three at the same time because I don't think I do too well, even with the, uh, the life drain. But uh, we can see here, I'm actually doing pretty well. I just killed this clone by accident. I'm really just trying to hit him, but with my attack running, I'm not making a lot of contact. Just trying to get it done through, uh, just kind of sheer brute forcing it. So that's one of the big things with Barbarian. I am hoping for a Barb Torch this time. We'll see what I get. But uh, yeah, we can see here Bill's just about to go down. And uh, that's what I mean about the... Uh, you'll see, as you saw in the beginning, his health dropped substantially and then it kind of slowed down. And that's because of that static field in the Crescent Moon, which I think is an underrated uh, offhand weapon here. So we pulled Diablo out right away. He's easy to pull out. We're just going to go after him. You can see the chunks of damage I'm doing right off the bat. And then um, you'll see it's going to slow down closer to when he's about under half health. And you'll kind of see what uh, what the big difference is with uh, with that. I'm using a lot more rejuvenation potions. His physical attack is actually pretty strong, and I am missing on him a lot. So I'm not getting that lifesteal that I want. But we can see here, even at level 82, like, this is doable, guys. This is super doable. If you're trying uh, single-player pluggy for the first time, and you're a little worried about ubers, barbs are the way to go. My sorceress would not be able to touch this. Uh, I attempted to get some keys with her, or not some keys, some organs with her and it just didn't go well so um the barber the barb is the way to go i do have a paladin as well with the seal and he seems to be doing half decent in ubers as well i haven't run the ubers himself but he seems to be okay at getting the uh getting the organs for the ubers at least and i pretty much just switch off a lot of stuff that's on the barb to the paladin when i do the zeal uh, i run the grief and then i run a uh the vampire bone gloves as well on on the paladin but last up is Mephisto. You know, again, you're seeing those big chunks at the beginning. It's going to slow down again. And you'll kind of see what happens here as we continue on. So again, unfortunately, I'm using a lot of rejuvenation potions here. It's not too bad. You know, I, I started with a full belt, hoping I'd be okay with the full belt and didn't have to go back to town. And as you can see here, I didn't. Uh, full belt of rejuvenation is just a couple fulls. Are more than enough to do this for the for the barbarian then you can see here the fade is still on i think it does it just ended right there so that's when the fade ended i probably could have proxed it again if i really was scared but with that life steal it doesn't really matter uh, so we'll pick up a loot and uh, go back to town and identify it so there's the uh hellfire torch and we'll go back to town and just kind of identify it and hope for the best again we're hoping for a barb torch i wouldn't be disappointed with the pally torch either I got my Paladin's pretty high level. The first one was a Sorceress Torch, which is my main character, so I can't complain about that either. But uh, let's see what this one is. Alright, so this one is... Necro Torch. Uh, 11, 19, 11 total attributes, 19 all res. The all res is nice. It's one off perfect. Um, the all attributes, you know, only one over, anti-perfect. And then 8 to light radius, I think it maxed out at 10, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, but yeah, so it's not, it's not an awful torch, you know, I have a, a necro that's pretty low level, I might try and level them up just to use it, but other than that, I mean, we're just going to store this in our stash and uh, hope for the best. So yeah, so that's doing Ubers with the level 82 barb, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, yeah, I know the content's changing up a little bit, I like to keep to my roots vaping a little bit here and there, uh, just to show it off, I'm just showing off my grand charms in the video if you're interested. Uh, what I'm running with the Ubers, a lot of poison damage stuff to really up that damage. Um, but yeah, trying to stay to my roots, switch a video, switch a style of video recently. Uh, I did do the 1000 LK runs, which is lower crust, to farm some high runes. Uh, it didn't go over super well, but I do have the video, um, recorded. It just hasn't been put together yet. Uh, it's gonna be a lot of work to try and find where, like, all the drops were and everything. I did write them all down, but, like, going through that is just gonna be a pain, so. Anyways, that's gonna do it for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Until then... Happy vaping, YouTube.